First guest tonight is a brilliantly talented man. He will make you laugh very hard and scare the bejesus out of you, too. His new movie, Spiral, from the Book of Saul, opens in theaters tomorrow. Please welcome Chris Rock. Hey, Chris. Hey. How are you? I'm OK. I'm OK, Jimmy. This is just, you know, just happened to take that pamper off the front of my face. Yeah, I know, right? It's great, and I mean, really, I was thinking about it, and of course, when you travel, you still have to keep it on, but it seems like for almost everything else, you, if you're vaccinated, you can have it yeah, on. Yeah, I'm, I'm vaccinated, I'm two shots rock. That's what they call me. Nice. Two shots rock. And um, I had a pamper on my face because I talk a lot of <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> So I've heard, so I've heard. Did you, I'm curious about the, uh, wearing a mask, did you, was there anything you liked about it? I, you know what's weird? It was, I got to be not famous for a whole year. Yeah, right? Yes. Yeah. And how it did you, sucked. How did you, you <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> Why the hell would anybody not be famous? <laughs> Can I tell you? I had to wait on line for things. You should see the ugly women I was dating while I was not famous. <laughs> you really went for it. Did you see Sandler get kicked out of that IHOP? I know, yeah. I know. That's what those masks do. They don't know who it was. They thought it was Rob Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, you know, I was wearing the mask and I thought, oh, this is kind of great. I can go in the drugstore. I can buy embarrassing medications again yes. without, like, thinking about it. But then I noticed, like, people were, like, kind of unfriendly. And I thought, oh, well, it's because of COVID. But then it went on and on. And I was like, oh, people are not that nice. And I was like, oh, people are only nice because they recognize me from TV. Yes, yes. But with the mask, I go into the drugstore. I'm like, my balls itch. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your new apartment? It looks like some work is being done there, is it? Or is yeah, it's my new, my new spot, my new spot. Is it true that you've never lived in the city before in New York? I, like, not full time. I, I mean, I've had, like, little offices and stuff like that, but now I'm, like, here. I see. You were at the Comedy Cellar, what, like, last month? You did a couple of spots there, right? I did some spots when they opened up. I did a couple of things with Dave. I was, I was with Mulaney last night. I opened for him last night. How'd that go? So, that went really good. Yeah. Went really good. So oh, that'd be a lot of fun to see. Are people showing up and packing it like they always did? People are showing up. You know, every now and then somebody dies, but we <laughs> keep the show going. You know, I was reading last night, I was reading um, a story about you and Esquire, and, and you're talking about, or the writer's writing about the fact that you've kept a journal for a long time, like since you were young like 35 plus years or something like that. And every day you write down what happened in the day or whatever. I write down in case the police ever try to frame me, mm -hmm. I have evidence of where I was at the time. <laughs> How often do you consult it to see like, what was I doing 15 years ago on this day? I, I look at it for jokes. I, I kind of look at it for jokes. Sometimes it's hard because I, I change my name and a bunch of names because if somebody finds it, I'm just busted. <laughs> yes. I changed my own name. Nobody needs to know I had sex with Mrs. Garrett from Facts of Life. <laughs> Nobody needs to know that. Like, how detailed do you get? Like, will this make the journal tonight? Every, you always make the journal. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I'd love to be a part of the journal. <laughs> it's my dream to be in your journal. Has anyone ever violated your privacy and read the journal? Oh, please. There's, there's, if you've been with a woman for five years, she, can, she knows the code to your phone, and she's read everything you've written down. I see. I got you. <laughs> Are you, like, dating? Are you on an app or anything like that, or meeting uh, people? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. You know, it's, uh -huh. never the, it's never the ones you want, Jimmy. It's always... Uh... <laughs> well, why don't you announce I'm... a list of the ones you want, and then maybe they'll watch this on YouTube tomorrow and call you. Uh, it's never the ones you want. Uh, you know, I go out. I, I you know, I... Are you confident? Dinner. I know you, you know, I, you appear to be a very confident guy, but when it comes to, like, dating and, like, giving somebody your phone number or whatever, are you confident? No, I mean, now because of all the Me Too stuff, I never make the first move. Oh, really? Ever. You think that Ever. protects you in some way? 
You got to ask for this. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta request this. <laughs> I, I think you should write that on the cover of the journal. Yeah. I got a tattoo. You gotta ask. For this. <laughs> you made this horror movie for. Uh, you're apparently. I learned about you. You love horror movies. Yes. I do love horror movies. And I... you, you love the Saw series. And you thought I would like to make one a movie in the Saw series. Yes, 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 yes. And so the, you went to the Saw people. There are Saw people, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Johnny Saw, the Saw <laughs> the family. Saw family. <laughs> and, and you said, uh, I have, did you say I have an idea or I just want to do something in the series? I said I, I have an idea. I, I like your series. Have you ever considered adding some humor into it? Just sprinkling it in. And had, and... They, had they ever considered that? No, they had considered it, and uh, you know, I saw the guy, I saw the head of lines get at a wedding, and uh, I kind of <laughs> mentioned it to him, and then three weeks later, I had this meeting, and here we are. Now I'm on the Jimmy Kimmel show. You wow, know? you really made it. <laughs> I made it. I made it. And this is. Hey, and, and you know what we did this year, you and I? What did we do? Go through. We didn't host the Oscars. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> We sure didn't. <laughs> Was it me? <laughs> I know it's real weird feeling of relief to not have been involved in that at, at no, all. Well, you know, well, that's you were like, at home like a, I was like a backseat driver. Like I was like, like my father used to say, "Break, break." I was like, "Joke, joke." <laughs> It's weird because, in a way, it's like the opposite of your conversation with the people at Saw. You're like, have you ever considered adding some humor into the Saw series? And somebody must have gone to the Oscars and said, have you ever considered subtracting all the humor from the Oscars? They did a good job. That, that was what they went for. When we come Whoa. back, we will see a, a clip from the movie Chris will probably now not get nominated for next Oscars. Yeah. Spiral from the Book of Saw. We'll be right back with Chris Rock. You Don't do it, Chris. That is Spiral from the Book of yeah. Saw. Chris Rocket opens in theaters tomorrow. Chris, do you think a human being could saw through his own arm? I mean, I was on a date last week, and I, I could have saw through my own head. <laughs> this girl was so dumb. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> 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 Go home and hug your wife, Jimmy. <laughs> She's right here. I can do it right now. Hug your wife. Had you been handcuffed before that scene? I've been handcuffed. Yeah, because, well, I'm black, Jimmy. So <laughs> I have been handcuffed. Were you involved in the... <laughs> have you ever had chicken, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> that was my next question, actually. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> I have been handcuffed. Were you at all involved in coming up? Because I got to tell you something. I'll be honest. I, I had not seen the movie, and I will not see the movie. And, and I enjoy you. I love you. I think you were great in Fargo. Oh, you I watched those scary Oscars. I, yeah, I did watch that. <laughs> but I do have to say that it's, it's just too scary for me. I don't know what it is about me. I don't know if it means I'm mature or immature, but I don't watch. Scary movies. You love these scary movies. I don't feel that same way. Dude, it's, it's like when you're in a theater 
It's right next to laughter. When you're in a theater and like the whole theater gets scared and they jump back at the same time, it's kind of fly, man. Yeah, it is. I can understand it. I just don't. It just. I went to see the Amityville Horror when I was a teenager, and uh, it really was one of the worst nights of my whole life. I was up all night hearing the words "get out." Of course, it was my cousin Stephen in the next bed saying "get out" over and over again. But I did. Like, did you go when you were little? When you were a kid, would you go to I these movies? Oh, I couldn't wait to the Amityville Horror. And uh, I, when I was a little, little kid, I remember seeing The Omen, and that was the scariest oh, one. Oh, God. Yeah, that's... It was a devil kid. And yeah. I was like, I know kids. Maybe he's the devil, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now all kids in horror movies are the devil, too. You yes, can't trust yes. a kid in a horror movie. That's why that guy's so mean to me in school. He's the devil! Who would you go see these movies with, like The Omen? I, you know, the weird thing is my father would take us to the movies. You ever, you, ever, you ever go to the movies and you're like, why did this grown person have these kids in an R-rated movie? That would yeah. be my father. Yeah, really? Oh. <laughs> like, I don't want to tell my mother we're going to see, like, Snoopy, and then the next thing you know, we're at, like, The Godfather 2. Like, hey. Did he take you to dirty movies, too, or just the violent, oh, scary no, movies? No. No. We had, those, those were in the house, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> the movie opens in theaters tomorrow. Are you going to go to a theater and see it? I am going to go to a theater. I can't wait to go to a theater. Oh, that'll be yeah. fun. You should pick just a perfect, tense moment. Maybe bring a chainsaw, cut through the movie screen, and just leap out at the audience. That would be <laughs> something people would never I might, forget. I might do that. I might do that. Sam Jackson's in the movie with you, and have yes. you ever been invited on Sam and Magic Johnson's annual yacht trip to Italy? No, I'm, I'm not black enough, Jimmy. <laughs> you think that's the reason why? Because I've been, I've been jockeying to get on that trip for like seven or eight years now. Me too, me too. That, I mean, you gotta be really rich to get on that boat. That's what Yeah. I mean. You think that's what it is? Because I know Anthony I, Anderson went, and he's I mean, not that know, rich. Think, no, think about it. Sam's 70. He's uh -huh. in the best shape of any 70-year-old person in the world. It's crazy right? that he's 70. Yeah, right. right. Magic got HIV, and he can kick all our ass. Yeah. <laughs> he has made a mockery of HIV. Uh, you agree? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, yeah, they're on some other... They can't let you see what they're doing. Ah, that's what it is. They've got secrets they don't want to reveal. Yes. That is that's great. It. All right. I haven't seen the movie, but I'm really good at pretending that I did. So I will say, this is a great movie. People should go see it. This is one of Chris's best... It's one of the best things you've ever done, Chris. It is. It is. Thank you. Thank you. Chris, I love having you on. Thank you so much. Spiral from the Book of Saul. Go see it in a theater as God intended us to do. It opens tomorrow. Chris Rock, everybody. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.